It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And shout out to the baby for coming together with his baby mom, Danny Lee, and celebrating their daughter's second birthday. You know, this I think this is a dope thing to highlight because of all the turmoil, all the issues that the two had in the past. You know, in case y'all don't know, you know, you can look it up yourself. The baby, you know, he went on Instagram Live where you can see the two fighting, you know, it was caught on Instagram. You know, Danny was cussing him out and you know, he said that she put his hands on him and, you know, said he wouldn't press charges on her, things like that. So basically, it just got real chaotic. Her brother stepped in, started threatening the baby, then the baby's crew jumped her brother. Just all kind of craziness, the brother suing the baby, all kinds of drama just going on and it i hate to see stuff like that because you know it separates the you know support for the baby a lot of times and in instances like this but i did like the fact that the baby apologized for you know the way he handled things and things of that nature but i also thought this was important to talk about because we don't see it often a lot of people be thinking that it's cool to bash their baby mom or bash their baby dad as if it doesn't hurt the child i never understood it myself like what's the point of shitting on the other parent if it hurts the child overall but you know one thing i noticed from the majority of people that throw their baby mom and dad under buses they don't care they don't care if it hurts the child they will talk bad about the baby dad no matter what like they will withhold the child from their dad just to make sure just to get under the dad's skin even if it benefits the child more and you know i just think that wrong and i'm not trying to make this a gender thing because honestly i hate the new trend of having gender wars on social media every time i log on facebook i see a dumbass post about uh baby moms and baby dads and you know it just sounds sound so better like yo like yo kid damn near 10 years old why are you still talking about the other parent if y'all separated back when the kid was a baby like yo it's mind-boggling like, it doesn't make any sense to me, you know, like, just to, that's how you can tell people are bitter, you can tell they're miserable, you know, they're always talking about the other parent, and, you know, one day, the, the child's gonna be able to see all this, they're gonna be able to go online and see what their parents was talking about, but, like I said earlier, they don't care, so, hey, what's the point, you know, I always had this theory that as long as the mom and the dad wants what's best for the child, there's no way that, you know, you can lose, like, you know, there's no way that, you know, the child should come up short, but, you know, majority of the time, people can never do that, you know, they, uh, you know, I, I could go on and on about this, honestly, but it, it's so exhausting, I don't even want to, you know, what's the point, and damn near, you know, maybe in another video I'll talk about it, but let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments, if y'all going through the same thing, if y'all agree, disagree, matter of fact, let me know if I'm wrong, let me know if it's something that I ain't catching. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 